Hi, I'm Colin. Welcome to Learn Some Max. Today, I want to get into the back lift again. This is one of my favorite movements and it's one of the more important movements as well because it gets into so much of the musculature of the body. The, everything down the back of the body, down the back of the spine, back of the hips, back of the legs. So I previously put a video called Basic Back Lift. Um, if you're unsure, you can go back and have a look at that one, familiarize yourself with that movement, and this one builds on that then again. Uh, so yeah, give this movement a try, and um, if you like it, you can put it into your practice. So the working position for this movement is you're going to be lying on your front like so. You're going to have your head turned to one side, in this case to the right, and you're going to have your hand up by your face, your right hand. Your left arm can be down by your side. So to begin with, we're going to actually get into the shoulder a little bit in this. So keeping your hand on the table, you're going to begin to lift up your elbow. And when you lift your elbow, allow your shoulder to kind of go up in the air and almost around to the back of you a little bit. And as you keep lifting the elbow, you'll feel how this makes your upper back and the back of your shoulder contract. And then from there, just let it come down. Same principle we're always using. We're contracting and then slowly relaxing, abdiculating. So then again, we're going to lift the shoulder up, or sorry, the elbow up, shoulder comes with. We feel it in the back of the shoulder and even up into the neck a little. And then we come down nice and slowly. And we'll just do that once more, lifting the elbow. Lifting the shoulder, feel the shoulder blade moving in the back, and then slowly coming down. Now, if you tend to suffer from tension in your shoulders, just doing that alone is going to be useful. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to lift the head. So think about lifting the head and the chest when you do this. So if I lift my head and my chest, I have to engage into my back. So it's your back muscles that lift you up. That's why we call it the back lift. And then slowly. Come on down. And on the next one, as we lift up, almost make it your intention to look over your shoulder ever so slightly. And what that does is it'll bring you a little to your right, and it'll engage a little bit more into the right side of your back, which is fine, which is what we want. It helps us aim where we're working. And down nice and slow. And the slower you go, the more you get out of these movements. The last time, bring up the head, and we're sort of slightly intending to look over the shoulder, and then coming down nice and slow. And there are a couple of ways to do the back lift. I'm showing you the way I like to do it. Now, place your back of your hand under your cheek. So now I'm going to be lifting my head again, but I'm going to be bringing my arm with me. So imagine that hand is stuck to your face. You're going to bring the whole arm with you. That looks like this. So now I'm lifting my head and my arm. This is a bit more vigorous. And then slowly coming down. One more time, lifting the whole upper body. Spreading my elbow like a wing. And then coming down nice and slow. Okay. Next thing is the left leg, right? So it's the opposite leg to the arm you're looking at. I'm going to gently lift the leg up. And again, I can feel that that's actually, it's my back that contracts to lift the leg, as well as the glute and the hamstring. It's the whole back of the body lifts the leg. And come down nice and slow. One more time, lifting, reaching the leg, feeling how it's a contraction all the way to the center of the body and then coming down nice and slow. And now we're going to put the whole thing together just twice so you can see what it looks like. So on the inhale, lifting the elbow head hand and opposite leg and then coming down nice and easy. You should feel this all through your back. You don't have to come up high, just come up high enough that you can feel your back contract. So in fact, if I just come up to here, that's actually high enough. I can feel my back is working. And from there, I can come back down. So resist the temptation to come up really, really high if you're able to. I'll come up a little higher this time, though. 
that's it elbow up and then nice and softly down so once you've done one side like that you want to lie down on your back so that you can assess and see how that feels so we did right shoulder left leg so you're looking for compare that diagonal in the back to this diagonal in the back and it's, it'll give you a very marked difference you'll feel very different diagonals through the body and you may even feel a little bit like you're lying on a hill you're tilted down to one side which is what i'm feeling right now so let's just briefly do the second side of the back lift again we're going to begin with the uh, arm elbow and shoulder so again we're just lifting up that elbow letting the shoulder go up into the air so that we feel the contraction in the upper back all up into the neck and coming down nice and slow letting all that tension go and again lifting the elbow up palm stays flat on the ground shoulder lifts up and the tension is felt in the upper back in the back of the shoulder and then slowly down one last time lifting the shoulder and elbow up feeling how that's an action of the upper back in the back of the shoulder and again coming down slow taking out any bumps making the whole movement nice and smooth as we relax Okay, so now we can move on to lifting the head and chest, and this time I'm looking to my left. So I'm going to begin to lift up my head and chest while looking to the left. And it might feel different on this side compared to the other one. And then come down, nice and slow, letting the back relax. So next time we lift, we're going to look slightly over the left shoulder. Just ever so slightly intense look over that shoulder. You'll feel the burden of effort shifts to the left a little of your back and then come down nice and slow. And all the way to rest. And when you get to the table, when you're wet to the floor, make sure you do completely rest before you go again. The last time, lifting up, looking over the shoulder ever so slightly. And then slowly coming down, feeling the back of the body relax as you get to the table or the floor okay so now we're going to put the back of the hand under the cheek and we're just going to do this two times we're going to lift the upper body lift the head and chest again bringing the arm with us the hand stays stuck to the cheek so we're lifting up spreading the elbow like a wing and then slowly down you can still have that slight intention of looking over the shoulder and that kind of gets you into the right position slowly down and relax and now we're getting to the opposite leg which is the right leg in this case we're going to reach long and let that leg float up feeling how it connects into the back slowly release now one more time Feeling how our back engages when we lift the leg. And then slowly down. So just two times we're going to do the whole thing on this side. That means we're going to lift the head, arm and the leg. But using our back. There we go. And then slowly come down. Remember it's all about the descent. Coming down nice and easy. And last time, inhaling up, exhaling down, coming down nice and slowly. And let's forget all about it. Turn onto your back again and see how that feels. Now that you've done both sides, things should start to feel a lot more symmetrical, a lot more relaxed and a lot more even. If you have a stressful job or a busy job or you run a lot, this is great. Uh, do it before bed, it'll set you up for a good night's sleep.